Hi everyone, welcome back. So at the end of the manufacturing process, sterilization is key. And the next few slides are gonna talk about electron beam sterilization. Okay, so if we look at the life cycle of a medical device, um, and it goes from manufacturing to finishing, we looked at types of polishing, uh, grinding, electropolishing, passivation, etc. Um, it then moves along the, the process line and it gets packaged. And we've talked about different types of packaging. Uh, we've talked about labeling requirements. And the, the final activity in the chain of activities is sterilization, which should see the product um, um, sterilized and ready to be shipped. So the types of sterilization methods that are typically used in medical devices are electron beam, gamma radiation, ethylene oxide gas, and steam. I uh, won't talk about steam in these slide series, uh, but I will talk about the other three. So we'll start with electron beam radiation. And what happens here is that the material is bombarded with high energy electrons, which results in a cascade of high energy electrons moving through the target materials. So these electrons, they're free to interact with molecules within the material. They eject electrons from their orbits and they generate free radicals. And it's these free radicals which are responsible for the sterilization of the um, uh, medical device. So free radicals um, can kill any microbes that are present on the device. However, they also have the ability to modify the polymer itself. Um, so electron beam radiation, it, it, it's very efficient. However, for polymer-based medical devices, um, it isn't desirable because the uh, electrons can damage the polymers. So how these free radicals work is they induce breaks in the DNA double helix. Um, so here's a, a nice schematic um, where we see DNA before and after electron uh, exposure. Uh, once you introduce a break into the DNA double helix of a living organism, that organism is no longer able to replicate or reproduce and therefore it dies. Um, so you should have no longer have any living matter on your medical device. Um, so how it works, so a heated tungsten uh, filament forms the electron gun. A high voltage is placed across the filament and it draws electrons away from the filament and accelerates them down in evacuated tube like this. Um, as it's going through the tube, it passes through oscillating uh, magnetic fields, which scans it back and forth uh, like a TV tube. It emerges from the scan um, in a kind of a fan-shaped configuration, um, and products pass through uh, this fan of electrons um, uh, on a conveyor belt, typically, and they receive the required dose of irradiation to kill bacterial contamination. Okay, so that's how electron beam sterilization works. Thank you.